sometimes you got to take a break from just about everything disappear come back and shock the world I'm talking to that athlete I'm talking to that administrator I'm talking to that nurse that doctor I'm talking to that student I'm talking to that communicator I'm talking to that pioneer that inventor I'm talking to that entrepreneur I'm talking to that preacher I'm talking to that person who refuses to stay where they are I'm talking to that person that doesn't have a problem laying in obscurity because you know that when you come out of the dark room all eyes on you we live in a culture of busyness distraction and noise and sometimes the only way something's going to change is if we disappear sometimes you gotta delete the app sometimes you have to walk away Sometimes you have to fall back into the dark room and focus on you. Everybody wants destiny. Everybody wants manifestation. Everybody wants fulfillment. Everybody wants the next level and the relationship and a higher quality of living. But nobody wants to eliminate distractions. Nobody wants to disappear for three months, four months, six months and get into a place where you can focus on just you. What if you could just shut out every distraction? What if you could just shut out the world for just a season and focus on you? A man is rewarded in public for what he does in private. Can you unplug for just a moment and focus on you? Focus on what matters. Why are you here? What is your destiny? The, the reason why you don't see it the reason why it has not manifested, the reason why you are so frustrated is because you have not been willing to forsake all that you've been called to forsake and to follow through behind closed doors. Sure, you can talk about it. Sure, you can plan it. Sure, you can write it down. Sure, you can go to the conference and hear about it. You can read about it. But at some juncture, you have to disappear and put the work in and come back and shock Everybody that doubted you! I'm talking to that man, that woman, that boy, that girl who feels the fire in their belly. It's time for you to shock the world. You may have to sleep in your car. You may have to go without food. You may have to bounce around from couch to couch. You may have to sacrifice like nobody in your family ever has. But can you do it behind the scenes? When nobody's looking, when nobody's watching, when nobody understands the measure of passion that you carry, can you keep going? Don't stop! You're right there! Go through the process in the dark room that prepares us and equips us for the stages of destiny. It's time to get real, it's time to get raw, it's time to look ourselves in the mirror and come to the resolve that this version of ourself is not going to carry us in the stretch. That I've been this version of myself long enough that if I don't change, if I don't do something about this, then I'm gonna find myself bankrupt. Some of the most monumental and transformational portraits and pictures that we've ever seen were developed in the dark room. We celebrate athletes and we celebrate critical thinkers and innovators and actors and we praise them and coin them our heroes and we follow them by the millions. We love what they do in public but you don't know the story behind the glory. You don't know the blood, the sweat. You didn't see the tears that they cried, the prayers that they prayed, the countless weeks where they went without sleep to get where they are. One of the greatest tragedies in life is to live and not know why you're living. I'm just wondering if there's anybody here that wants their future, that wants to fulfill their destiny, that wants to manifest, that wants to walk in discipline and determination. I'm just wondering, is there anybody here that's willing to disappear? Are you willing to forsake all distractions? Can you hide yourself in the library? Can you hide yourself in the gym? 
Can you hide yourself in the boardroom and plan and caucus and do what's required behind the scenes in order to manifest the moment? Can you hide yourself in your books? Can you hide yourself in your closet? Can you hide yourself in the prayer rooms? Can you hide yourself? We have this passion to be in the public eye, but no patience to do the work behind the scenes. Stop telling the world what you are about to do. Steve Jobs once said, we do not say anything about future products. We work on them in secret and then we release them to the world. We only have so much real estate in our minds and our hearts. We only have so much bandwidth in our mental capacity. And the more distractions, the more delusions, the more negativity that we allow to take up real estate in our hearts and in our minds, the less energy we have to fulfill the call, to fulfill destiny, to manifest the idea. Everything that you think about, that you meditate on, everything that has to your attention has to be worth your time. So now it's time to navigate and do an appraisal of everything that's in our life, everything and everybody in our life. Time to do an appraisal and ask them this question. Are you worth my time? If you're not, it's time to unplug. Time to unplug. Time to unplug. I'm just wondering if there's anybody that can hear my voice right now that has come to the end of themselves and they are willing to eliminate distractions. They are willing to delete social media apps if they have to. They are willing to walk away from everything that is distracted, everything that has diluted your devotion and your determination, every disease and dysfunction and disorder that has pulled you from destiny after you have heard it, after you have received it. After you have written it down, after you have spoken it once, do what is required to manifest it into reality. If you can see it in your head, you can hold it in your hand. Stop telling everybody what you're going to do. Stop telling everybody what your next move is and just disappear and do the work that is required. Don't be bitter. Don't be frustrated. Listen, just remain faithful behind the scenes. Promotion is coming. Stages and opportunities are being prepared right now as you sacrifice in secret, as you put the work in in the dark room, as you do what is required to hold in your hand what you see in your hand. When no one is there to affirm you, when nobody's there to validate you, when nobody is there to agree with you, you build in the dark and you announce it when it's finished.